What's going on guys? Welcome back to season 10 in the Wolfsburg save on FM16. Excited times but upsetting times because the audio for the video for this actual episode got wrapped up. Basically, I was watching Second Yellow Card, his audio was playing in the background. I turned down my speakers forgetting to pause Second Yellow Card's video. So basically, I thought I paused it but I was still talking whilst Second Yellow Card was talking. So there was just two of my truckers just talking on the video and the audio was just completely jacked up so that's why I have to do it like this so without further ado um, on the left so look so Andre Carrillo on the free and general really on his free I think I pretty much mentioned that to y'all uh, then we've got Mario Fernandez from CSK Moscow um, we signed him for 17.5 million so this guy's gonna be the starting right back for our Wolfsburg side very good very solid very technical um, got the pace got the fitness got the strength got the tackling he is a solid Brazilian right back who is definitely going to be a star for Wolfsburg in the coming years and we've got Paco Alcacer for 23 million y'all know we were struggling with a striker position so we had to try in a striker somehow some way and um, with the money that we had 23 million is just a wrap and to sign a brilliant Spanish next Fernando Torres in my opinion striker from Valencia then we needed a solid midfielder uh, and then we got Victor Wanyama he was transfer listed um, by Southampton and it only went with 9.75 million so I was like hold up got the money here y'all go give me Wanyama and he's very strong and very technical and I've seen what he can do from my Southampton save so it's not like I was just completely blind it was a blind transfer it was an easy transfer it was quite swift negotiations were done quickly and um, he is now a Wolfsburg player and uh, then we've got Eric Durham from um, Dortmund <laughs> who's a lone in signing we need cover on the left hand side um, which is why I have um, decided to bring this guy in and um, I think he will kind of be a good cover, even the first team left back, uh, considering Dortmund aren't using this guy at the moment. Then we've got Danny Cover. Oh! Um, they wanted to sign him back, um, and, and they were like, oh, we're not going to sell him. But then I was like, look, you peasants, you're going to sell him to me. Just shut up, yes? Uh, so <laughs> uh, we got him on another loan deal, plus a 16 million buyout clause so we can purchase Danny Carvajal at any time for 16 million pounds and the last signing was our starting new left back Mattia Desgiglio from AC Milan 17.5 million pound is the fee um I think most of these I think the ones like um I'll, I think I think I'm not 100% sure I think it's I think it's Skiglio's and Alcacer's deal have some clauses over the next 48 months. So, um, yeah, I ain't paying them all out. I ain't got that type of money. Are you mad? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so, yeah, we had to sign a new left back, obviously. Um, you'll find out why in a minute. Um, but, yeah, Skiglio is the new left back starter for Wolfsburg now. So, it's all good in the hood. So, um, on the right hand side. Um, you can see here that we have got Carlos Acuez who has gone out to Trabs on board for 1.1 million pound good midfielder got a lot of potential could be a star midfielder in a team like this in a small league like Turkey um, so it was a good deal it was mutual it had to happen because we weren't going to use it what's the point you keep it on you're not going to use um, so yeah that's that then going down and you can see yeah we've got francisco rodriguez um who is currently now at ingolstadt for 525,000 pounds we weren't going to use him again uh, really just rotting in our team so it's good that he's gone to a team where he could be a good player uh, then you've got daniel cagliari um who's gone to swansea for three million pounds after that injury he came back just wasn't the same he's not the same I don't know what songs I'm singing right now so yo, yeah he's gone to he's gone to Swansea um, don't know how he's gonna work don't know what they're gonna do with him but they wanted to sign him so they, there must be some plans Maximilian Arnold has gone to Verde Bremen uh, for 1.5 million pounds uh, same with Christian Trash who's gone to Verde Bremen for 625,000 pounds so those are two players stolen from us by our um, Verde Bremen opponents in the Bundesliga I'm not too upset because they really weren't gonna offer us anything so it's all good in the hood so this is the reason why I had to sign Wanyama. Luis Gustavo um, had his activation buyout clause activated. Whatever you want to say, I messed that up. I messed up, yo. Um, so he had his he had his buyout clause activated uh, by Barcelona for twenty five million pounds. Um, so that's weak. Nothing you could do. Nothing you could do. He came. I tried to offer him a contract. He was like, "Look, I'd rather go to a team where I could potentially win the Champions League." I was like, "Look, cool." 
it's all good. Um, and then we have uh, Sebastian Jung, who's gone out to Hanover on loan, not going to use him, so it's best he gets a loan deal and gets first team football elsewhere. And this is the reason why we had to sign Mattia Desciglio, because we sold Kola Sinak to PSG for £14.25 million. Pounds. Wasn't a deal I wanted to happen, it's not like a transfer listed to do it, it just happen like they just came in and as soon as PSG uh, hold on pause wait breathe hmm that didn't sound right so as soon as PSG put in an offer um it's, it just happens with every player as soon as PSG put in an offer in a small team in a small league it's like mm, they're gone I mean I know Bundesliga is quite big but it's not you know PSG just got that Champions League winning kind of squad happening do you know what I mean so yeah that's one of his reasons why and then you got you can kind of see there we've got Marcel Schaffer who's gone out on loan to Hamburg SV for a season so that has been the outs those are the ins that is that for this video I didn't want to do it like this but it had to be done some sort of way if you feel what I'm saying um, so I'm hoping y'all will just enjoy that and um, it's all good so yeah join me for the next episode which will be back to normal obviously because I didn't mess up the, the audio this time um, so yes yeah, all good stay safe drink Rubicon lychee because that's what I'm drinking now it's nice it's very nice it's very nice and I'll see you next time peace just run.